Hey there, everybody. And this is 4.3.7 Password Checker. So this one's a little bit more complex than the last two. But that's what happens when we're awesome coders. Things get more complex. So for this one, it talks about writing a program with a method called password check to return if the string is a valid password. So on this one, a password must be at least eight characters long, may only contain letters and digits. And then for the auto grader, we have to go ahead and print what's being returned. So it says, hint, consider creating a string that contains all the letters in the alphabet and a string that contains all the digits. If the password is a character that isn't in one of those, it's an illegitimate password. So one of the easiest things to do right away is figure out which one we need to do. At least eight letters or check to see if it's in letters and digits. And we can go ahead and do the length one. So we're not gonna actually do it, but I'm gonna say the first thing to do is check if the password is less than eight. If it's less than eight, uh, then it's no bueno. Therefore, we're gonna return false. Done, just checking that. Next up, it talks about creating a, a string of letters. So we can just do something like this for right now, just for placeholders. Then we can also do another one for digits or we can just combine the two, doesn't really matter. So long as that they're all there. Now, what we need to do is check to see if our password, like each letter of our password, make sure that it's in one of these legitimate letters. I'll just put that legit letters, just so we can be a little bit more clear. So we wanna see if H, is in the list of legit letters. And if it's not, we're done with this function. We're done with this method and we're gonna return false right away because we don't need to check any more letters. We're just out of here. But if the first letter is good, then keep going, then keep going, then keep going until we're all done. And after we're all done, if everything is good, we're gonna go ahead and return true. So therefore, right at the end here, we can just return true because that's if all this stuff inside here that we're gonna do is good, we return true. So another thing we can do after this is we can just go ahead and make a loop, loop through each, each letter of our password. So we wanna go through each letter and then check if they are all legit. Okay, that's it, just kidding. So there's a couple different ways to do this. One of the ways that we can go about this is we can use this idea of index of. So if you look here, we have two different kinds of index of. We have an index of that takes in a character and an index of that takes in a string. And if we read down here, they both are saying this the exact same thing. But here's the key part. If the character does not exist in this string, negative one is returned. So we can use that idea of negative one being returned and use that to see if it's a legitimate password or not. So for instance, if H is checked first in our loop, we go through all of this and we find out that H isn't in one of the legitimate letters, it's gonna return a negative one. If it is in one of the letters, it's gonna actually return the index. So it's gonna be some positive number or zero. So we can just check this real quick. So let's just do the letters uh, with the strings. So I'm gonna check all the letters and I'm gonna get, um, I'm going to find the index of. So the index of one of the letters. So I'm gonna take the first letter of our password. So we'll do password dot substring, and then we'll take the first letter. So this is kind of a long statement right here. So just to kind of clear this up, we're gonna get the first letter from our password. In fact, we can just, separate this out so it's a little bit more clear because when it starts getting too nested, then it gets really annoying to, to read. So this is gonna return the first letter and then we wanna find the index of the letter inside this entire, ooh, this is no longer called letters, it's called legit letters, in our legit letters. And then what we're gonna do, it's gonna return the index. So I'll do int index. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and print it to the screen. That way you guys can see how it kind of works. Return the index. So if we go ahead and run this, 
I usually miss a semicolon somewhere. So negative one. So it checked the first letter and it wasn't in there. So it returned negative one. If I put an H at the end of this, so now H is considered a legitimate letter. It's going to return three because H is at the index of zero, one, two, three. That's how you can check. And then you, for yours, you're just going to create a loop that goes through each of the letters. So this is how you can do it with substring. We can also do it with um, characters because index of, as we see here, allows us to use characters. So in order to use a character, we come over here to the right hand side again. We can see we can get a character if we use character at and we pass in its index. So it returns the character in the string at the specified index. So just like letter, uh, let's do character though, letter. And let's just comment this out so it doesn't get angry at us. We're having the same variable. And then we can go password dot character at. So the nice thing about this character at is it doesn't need two parameters, it only needs one. Substring needs a beginning and an end. So this just gets, it, just gets a single character, which is perfect for this situation. And then we can do this exact same thing. We can get the index of the letter and then we can print it out. So now if we run this, we still get three. And then let me just move, um, we'll move the H over here just so you guys can see that it's still running this new code. So it should return a one this time because H is at the first index. So one of the big takeaways here is that you're gonna loop through each letter. If any of the letters are bad, which means that it returns a negative one, then you're gonna to wanna to return false. Return false gets immediately out of this entire method here, because it's done, it's bad. Get the heck out. And then you only wanna return true if it's gone through every single letter and everything's been legit, then you return true at the end. So this is two different ways to go about this problem, and I hope that it helps. Okay, bye-bye.